is that? Dude, what is that? From unexpected shocking things discovered on the Titanic to the most unbelievable shipwrecks found on the ocean bed, here is a list of the most amazing and unbelievable things found on shipwrecks. Cancun Underwater Museum These drowned figures aren't stunned humans, but the sculptures of Cancun's underwater museum. It is submerged 26 feet in the Caribbean off the coast of Cancun, Mexico. The museum has a total of 500 sculptures by a series of international and local sculptures. It was started in 2009 and officially opened in November 2010. The place is like heaven for scuba divers. No doubt that it's beautiful, but the place is regarded as sinister and evil by many. Some scuba divers have claimed that these statues are haunted and that they move their eyes in different body parts when no one's looking. Sculptures have even said to change their places. Some even said that the people who died in the oceans have taken the sculptures as a means to connect to the world of the living. There have been so many years now, so most of the sculptures now are covered with coral reefs, seaweed, and moss. Japanese Fleet of Truck Lagoon During World War II in 1944, a fleet of Japanese ships was pitted against the United States Navy's fleet of ships and aircraft. During the course of the battle, American submarines attacked and sank two of the largest Japanese fleet carriers taking part in the battle. Even today, one can visit the ruins of these battleships. This also resulted in the destruction of more than 250 aircraft and the death of approximately 400 Japanese soldiers who suffocated in these waters. They say that even today you can hear the screams and see the wandering spirits of the dead soldiers. At the time, this was a huge blow to the Japanese army. But on the other hand, the American army only suffered the cost of one damaged fleet carrier. One battleship slightly damaged, 25 aircraft lost, and 40 dead. Titanic's Leather Shoes The mystery of Titanic leather shoes is a story of horrors. These shoes were discovered by a team during exploration. To date, there has been no body found aboard the mighty ship's skeletal. The reason for this was that bones dissolve at great ocean depths because of seawater's composition. Now, why are the missing shoes lying just there? Well, that is because it was speculated that the shoes did not just land there. There was a body with them too. The way they are laid out makes a very compelling case that it is where someone has come to rest. MV St. Thomas Aquinas MV St. Thomas Aquinas was a Philippine passenger ferry. It collided with a cargo ship on 16th of August 2013, which resulted in the sinking of the ship. The incident resulted in a catastrophe with 108 passengers dead and 29 missing. 733 were fortunate enough to be rescued after the accident. Many of the survivors were sickened after swallowing seawater and oil believed to have leaked from St. Thomas Aquinas. To mark the eighth anniversary of this heartbreaking incident, a search team was sent to recover the lost bodies of the victims. Have a look at the remains of the passenger ferry. The divers find many dead bodies riding on the sea floor. All these bodies lay approximately in 30 meters of water, but the divers had to suspend operations later due to safety concerns. Fleets of Pearl Harbor the attack on Pearl Harbor was a surprise military attack by the Imperial Japanese Navy Air Service upon the United States against the naval base at Pearl Harbor in Honolulu, Hawaii. The base was attacked by 353 Imperial Japanese aircraft, which resulted in all the eight U.S. Navy battleships being damaged and four sunk. Of the 1,177 USS Arizona sailors and Marines killed at Pearl Harbor, more than 900 could not be recovered and remained on the ship, which sank in approximately nine minutes. 18 ships were sunk and wrecked, including five battleships. Even to this day, there are many skeletons embedded deep on the ocean floor. Apart from the mass casualties, the place is also an environmental hazard. It's believed that between 14,000 and 64,000 gallons of oil have leaked from the USS Arizona since the attack 
and it has been estimated that it would continue to leak for 500 years more. MS Zenobia Wreck MS Zenobia was a Swedish-built ferry launched in 1979 that overturned and sank in the Mediterranean Sea, close to Larnaca, Cyprus in June 1980. Just like the Titanic, this ship also sank on her maiden voyage. Fortunately, the incident reported no casualties, and all the crew members simply just watched as the ship sank to the ocean's bed. What happened was that apparently a computer malfunction was causing excess water to be pumped into the ballast tanks. Anchored offshore, it started sinking, and the captain ordered the crew off the ship. The water here is so clear, you can see the mysteriously sunken ship from the surface. All the valuable belongings also sank. Even the trucks and their cargo have never been salvaged and are now lying on the seabed and still chained to the decks for you to see. The site is pretty famous among scuba divers. USS Orskini. USS Orskini, AKA the Mighty O, was the first naval warship and now the largest artificial reef ever to be intentionally sunk in U.S. coastal waters. It was built shortly after World War II and was 911 feet in length and can hold up to 80 frickin' planes. After completing 25 years in service, the Orskini was decommissioned in September 1976. It served primarily in the Pacific, earning two battle stars for service in the Korean War and 10 battle stars for service in the Vietnam War. Now, the Orskini is sitting upright on the seafloor in a north-south orientation, with the bow facing due south. The Orskini Reef was deployed on the morning of May 17, 2006, at a water depth of 212 feet. The exact location and the height were selected because it had the necessary water depth that allowed the ship to be reefed. SS President Coolidge SS President Coolidge was an American luxury ocean liner. The ship was originally a luxury ship with rooms for over 1,000 people. Although it was not a warship, it was sent into service as a troop carrier. During this time, it held 5,342 troops. In October 1942, SS President Coolidge was sunk by two U.S. mines. The wreck is almost 200 meters long and 25 meters wide, with plenty of diving sites to explore. Some famous artifacts within the wreck are the Lady and the Unicorn, a porcelain statue. It is customary for all the divers to kiss the Lady while diving the SS President Coolidge. Another fun thing to do is to dive into the underwater swimming pool of the wreck. It is full of cruise ship decorations, furnishings, and utensils to recognize underwater. Titanic's Violin you all must have heard about the infamous violinist of Titanic, who played music and calmed the people till the end. After the wreckage of the ship was discovered, this violin was also found among many things. After the news was published, people started speculating that the violin belonged to Wallace Henry Hartley, who was the band leader at RMS Titanic, who unfortunately passed away with the ship and was found two weeks after the sinking with a music case strapped to his body. Incredibly, it was this case that allowed his violin to endure such cold, wet conditions and remain intact. The violin was sold at auction for $1.7 million. SS Thistlegorm SS Thistlegorm was a steam cargo ship that was sunk during a German attack. The wreck of the ship is located in the north of the Red Sea, in the Gulf of Gubel. The bombing set ablaze hold four. The fire spread quickly until the ammunition stored in the hold blew up, with the explosion tearing the Thistlegorm into two pieces and sinking in a V-shape. Thistlegorm sank quickly and suffered nine casualties out of the 42 men in total who were aboard. The ship sank in less than a minute. Most of the cargo remained within the ship and can still be visited. The famous explorer Jacques Cousty discovered the ship in the 1950s by using information from local fishermen. He even raised several items from the wreck, including a motorcycle, the captain's safe, and the ship's bell. Even today, the boots, trucks, motorcycles, T-engine exhaust rings, and a handful of cylinders are visible. China's Atlantis 
Look at this real life Atlantis. Shi Chang, known as the Lion City, is an ancient underwater city situated in the Shanghang province of China. The city was purposely flooded for industrialization by the Chinese government in the year 1959, after a hydroelectric dam was required for the province. According to the evidence found, the lost city was inhabited for centuries, but is now primarily used as an underwater tourist attraction by tourists and diving experts. Approximately 300,000 people had to relocate as a result of the project. It was estimated that 1,300 villages and tens of thousands of acres of farmland were flooded and submerged. The city is well preserved, even to this day. Many of its homes, temple structures, and paved roads are preserved 131 feet underwater. Visitors can enjoy the 1,400-year-old architectural wonders at the diving site. However, only experts are allowed to dive. SS Gulf America The SS Gulf America was an American steam tanker. This is one of the most horrific tanker explosions in history. Gulf America's maiden voyage started from Port Arthur, Texas to New York, carrying a cargo of 101,500 barrels of furnace oil. On the night of April 10, 1942, the tanker was traveling unescorted about five miles off Jacksonville, Florida, when it was sighted by the German submarine U-123. The submarine fired a torpedo at her. After the attack, the Gulf America completely sank a few days later. Five men were killed by the torpedo blast or the gunfire, and approximately 14 men drowned after they entered the water. Of the 48 men on the Gulf America, 29 survived the attack, out of which 12 bodies were recovered from the sea, and seven were never found. Today, the wreck sits in 60 feet of water, 4.5 miles from the Jacksonville Beach coastline. Hermes Wreck Bermuda The Hermes was a small steel boat. It was originally built as a U.S. Coast Guard buoy tender and was used for maintaining navigation until the end of World War II. The ship was only 165 feet long. During one voyage, it experienced some engine trouble near Bermuda. The ship barely made it into St. George's Harbor. Hermes was abandoned by her crew due to the fact the repairs of the ship would cost much more than the ship's worth. And after that, it was decommissioned and turned into a spectacular diving site, which is now a proper coral reef. The Hermes is well preserved and stands almost upright the divers can still see the whole shape of the ship, which is now a classic shipwreck image for divers. The wheelhouse is about 45 feet from the surface, and the entire wreck is in about 80 feet of water. Antikythera Wreck Antikythera is one of the oldest shipwrecks in the world. It is a Roman-era shipwreck dating from the second quarter of the first century BC. It was discovered on the Greek island of Antitherica in 1900. After the discovery, the ship was searched and they found numerous statues, coins, and other artifacts dating back to the 4th century BC. The most important find was the discovery of a 21-year-old human skeleton of a passenger. They also found severely corroded remnants of a device that the scientists regarded as the world's oldest known analog computer, the Antikytheria mechanism. These ancient artifacts, works of art, and elements of the ship are now on display at the National Archaeological Museum of Athens. Apart from that, there were three life-size marble horses, jewelry, coins, glassware, and a seven-foot-tall colossus statue of Hercules was also discovered. The Treasured San Jose San Jose was part of the Spanish treasure fleet. During its final voyage, the ship sailed as the flagship of a treasure fleet. The fleet encountered a British squadron near Baru, leading to a battle known as Wager's Action. During the battle, San Jose detonated, destroying and sinking the ship with most of her crew and a cargo of gold, silver, emeralds, and jewelry. The wreck of San Jose is estimated to be worth about $17 billion. The legendary galleon was thought to be carrying 200 tons of gold, silver, and precious stones. Of the 600 people aboard, only 11 survived. The location of the ship was unknown 
for nearly three centuries. It was found by Colombian naval officials off the coast of Catargina in 2015, but its precise location has been kept a secret to prevent stealing. The sunken ship was located 600 meters deep. Gulf of Mexico Shipwreck The dive was conducted on a site of a never-before-seen shipwreck. It is one of three shipwrecks discovered by Shell Oil Company while they were mapping the ocean floor. Most of the artifacts were recovered. The exploration revealed the remnants of a copper-sheathed sailing ship, which was supposedly from the early to the mid-19th century. Most of the wooden structure deteriorated along with the oxidization of the copper sheath and a variety of artifacts that included plates, glass bottles, guns, cannons, the ship's stove, navigational instruments, and anchors. This was a spectacular dive that represented a truly remarkable find. And now, let's get ready for today's open discussion. This picture is taken from a video that was uploaded on YouTube. In the video, some ghostly figures can be seen aboard the infamous Titanic. It was captured by a deep sea camera, but I am afraid there is no authenticity to it. The clip was just posted in the memories of all the Titanic victims who lost their lives on the ship. It represents that even now, the spirits of all the victims are looming inside its shipwreck deep in the ocean. Hilma Hooker The Hilma Hooker is a shipwreck in Bonaire in the Caribbean Netherlands. The vessel was built for a shipping company and was sold many times to different companies. In the summer of 1984, Hilma Hooker had engine problems at sea and was towed to the port of Bonaire. The drug enforcement agencies came for inspection, but the captain failed to produce any of the requisite registration papers. A false bulkhead was discovered and held within was 25,000 pounds of marijuana. The Hilma Hooker and her crew were arrested while the local authorities of Bonaire searched for the vessel's owners, who were never found. The ship remained for many months and through general neglect started to sink. Hilma Hooker rolled over on her starboard side and in the next two minutes disappeared underwater. The place is now a popular diving site. Lake Champlain Shipwreck Lake Champlain is home to many shipwrecks. One of the wrecks located in deep water is the U.S. Lavalley Tugboat, which was reportedly sunk in 1931. The vessel was found sitting intact and upright on the bottom in excellent condition. Aside from the windows blown out from air pressure upon the boat sinking, it is completely intact, with its original paint and a steel plaque that lists details about its unique steam-powered engine. Trapped air may have torn off apart the vessel's wheelhouse in a violent explosion during the ship's sinking. The importance of this wreck cannot be overemphasized as Lavalley is one of the very few steamboat wrecks in Lake Champlain that still have an engine and other machinery on board. The tug's excellent condition, except for the wheelhouse, presents a unique opportunity for archaeologists to document the construction and design of the vessel in detail. Cursed Mars Shipwreck Mars was a Swedish warship that was built between 1563 and 1564. She was the leading ship of Sweden's fleet and was the largest warship of the time at 70 meters and equipped with 173 guns. In 1564, during a war, the ship caught fire and exploded during the first battle of Oland in the Baltic Sea. The wreckage was found in 2011 after a team of divers discovered it at a depth of 75 meters north of Oland. After several years of research, the ship lost between 800 to 900 Swedish and German sailors and a fortune in gold and silver coins to the bottom of the Baltic Sea some 454 years ago. Researchers discovered silver treasure aboard the ship. Some cannons, hand grenades, and many skeletal parts were also found. Many have argued to get it out, but lifting the remains out of the water would lead to breakdown and damage of the materials. Well, that's all guys for today. Thank you for watching the video. And if you guys found it interesting, I would much appreciate it if you comment down below about the video and leave the thumbs up. Last but not least, 
don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon for getting updates related to our latest videos.